Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If I say the word shark, what's the first thing that pops into your head? For many of us, it's probably a scene straight out of a horror movie, a massive predator, fins slicing through the water, hunting for its next meal. But what if I told you that almost everything we think we know about shark attacks is wrong? Today, we're diving deep to separate the myths from the reality. Let's get one of the biggest myths out of the way first. That terrifying idea of a shark actively hunting a person is almost pure fiction. The truth is, most incidents that get labeled as shark attacks aren't really attacks at all. They're more like exploratory bites. Sharks don't have hands, so when they encounter something unfamiliar in their environment, like a person on a surfboard, they might use their mouth to investigate. It's a bump and bite or a test bite to figure out what you are. And you know what they usually figure out? That we are definitely not on the menu. Scientists have found that sharks generally find humans to be bony and unpalatable. We're simply not the high-fat, energy-rich meal they're looking for, like a seal or a large fish. In many cases, after that initial exploratory bite, the shark realizes its mistake and immediately swims away. It's not a failed predation attempt. It's a case of mistaken identity. Think about it from their perspective. A person paddling on a surfboard when viewed from below creates a silhouette that can look strikingly similar to a seal or a sea lion, which are prime food sources for species like the great white. The shark sees a familiar shape, investigates and realizes, oops, my mistake, before moving on. It's a tragic accident, but it's not a malicious jaw-style hunt. So why does it feel like we hear about shark attacks more and more? Is the ocean getting more dangerous? Not really. This perception is largely a myth, fueled by a few factors. First, more people are in the ocean than ever before swimming, surfing, and diving. More people in the water simply means a higher probability of an encounter. Second, our ability to report and share information is instantaneous. An incident that might have been a local story decades ago can now become a global headline in minutes. When you actually look at the statistics, the rate of attacks per capita hasn't significantly increased. You are still more likely to be injured by a falling coconut or a vending machine than by a shark. Pop culture, especially movies, has done a massive disservice to these incredible animals. They've been painted as mindless killing machines, which has created a culture of fear. This fear has real-world consequences, leading to culling programs and a general disregard for their conservation. And that's the most important part of this whole story. Sharks are not monsters. They are absolutely vital to the health of our oceans. As apex predators, they sit at the top of the food chain, playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. They regulate the populations of species below them, which prevents any one species from becoming too dominant and wiping out others. They also tend to prey on the weak and the sick, which helps keep fish populations healthy and strong. A healthy ocean needs sharks. When shark populations decline, the entire ecosystem can spiral out of balance, affecting everything from coral reefs to commercial fisheries. So the next time you see a headline about a shark attack, remember the bigger picture. It was most likely an unfortunate case of mistaken identity, an exploratory bite from a curious animal in its own home. These are not bloodthirsty monsters, but ancient, magnificent creatures essential to the health of our planet's oceans. By understanding their true nature, we can replace fear with respect and work together to protect them. Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the natural world. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.